Hey again guys, so another request I've been getting is how to use the Spark Color Config Editor program on your Windows computer to change sound fonts and blade colors on the Spark 2 board. Um, it's a fairly simple process, there are a few steps that you have to go through um, and you gotta be pretty careful about what you're doing so you don't mess up the files of the board. Uh, but again, it's a fr fr fairly simple process once you know what you're doing and I'm gonna guide you through it and hopefully this will help a few of you out there who have been having a little trouble. So on my Saber Forge Descent right now, uh, my, my first Saber font is uh, set to a red color with a very Sith sounding font. Uh, I'm not sure what, exactly what font this is, but um, from that ignition you can tell it's very much a Sith font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the SD card from the Descent here and uh, I'm going to input it to my computer and then I'll show you from there what you need to do. Okay, so as I said, the first thing you're going to do is remove the micro SD card from your lightsaber and put it in your computer. And then you're going to open the Spark Color Config Editor program, which you can download from saberigniter.com. Now I'm going to follow the instructions exactly how they say it, step by step, word for word. First thing you need to do at this point is create a new folder on your computer and they want you to label that folder igniter. In the igniter folder you're going to create another folder and this folder you're going to name Saber1. Now this is the folder in which you're going to copy all the files from your SD card. So you're going to go to the SD card and you're going to select all of the files on your SD card, copy them, and then paste them into the Saber 1 folder. Make sure you're just copying them and not moving them. And you also want to have a backup of all these files. So the files that I just pasted here into the Saber 1, these are the files we're going to manipulate. We're going to change these to create the new font and the new colors. This here is my backup, which I've already copied the files into, so that if something goes wrong, if something gets messed up, that I have a backup, I can just copy these back to the SD card, and we're good to square one. So. The font we're going to change is font 1. That's the font that when I ignited the saber had the Sith sounding font with the red color. So you're going to go into the font 1 folder and you're going to select all of these folders which have the various uh, sound files, the blaster, clash, etc. You're going to select these and you're going to delete them, remove them completely. You're also going to delete these other two WAV files and basically the only thing you're not going to delete are these INI files, your configuration files. Those stay put. Do not delete those. Now I haven't downloaded, I haven't purchased any additional fonts yet uh, for my Spark Color 2 board. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy a font from one of the other defaults that was included with my board from the manufacturer and I'm just going to move that to the font 1 folder. But this is basically the same thing. So let's, we're basically going to pretend here that font folder 4 this was a purchased sound font from saberfonts.com. So I'm going to go into the folder. Again, this is going to be the folder from the downloaded font. And I'm going to copy all of the font files, or the, the sound files. And these are all going to be copied and pasted into that font1 folder. And that's it. That's all you need to do to change the fonts on your lightsaber. Now, if you want to change the color, you're going to go into the Spark Color Editor. You're going to go to File, Open. And you're going to find the uh, folder that you created on your computer, um, which I created on my desktop, the Igniter folder and the Saber 1 folder. And we're changing the lightsaber color for font number 1, that same one that was red when we first turned it on. And to change that, you're going to open the config file in the folder. So once you've opened the config file, you're going to go into the blade color tab, and this is where you're going to change the blade color um, to you know whatever whatever color you'd like it to be. Now the the main thing to keep in mind here, 
Uh, you have to know how your LEDs are arranged uh, for this to work effectively. On my light, my lightsaber, um, I have a uh, LED setup of red, red, green, and amber. That's the the LED setup on my saber. You'll find those color settings here under the options. Now, to get to effectively uh, change your blade color, you need to change these settings. So as you can see here, my color settings are set to red, red, green, and amber. If you don't have these set correctly, then the colors are going to be off when you change it in the sliders here and then you put it into your saber because each of these sliders that you're adjusting corresponds to these color settings here. And if your saber is wired differently than the default here, which was red, green, blue, uh, then you're, you're basically adjusting values for LEDs that are not the same as what's showing here and so the preview you're gonna see it's not gonna match so make sure you know exactly how your LED setup is and you go into the color settings and change it to match so having said that we're gonna go into here and like I said mine is set to red red green blue so now you can see my color set for that font the two red LEDs are set to maximum and the green and the amber uh, I'm sorry, I think I said blue earlier, but the green and the amber are all the way down to zero. So that's why I got that deep blood red color showing. Now, I'm going to take the reds down completely, and I'm just going to increase the green. So all we're going to have is a fully green blade. Now, once you've got that set, uh, you can and you can also, um, this little window here, can give you uh, a, a generic preview of what your color is going to look like. So uh, we'll go back to where I had the reds uh, completely up, and that gives you, you know, oh, this is what you can expect your saber to look like. So I take down the reds, and bring up the green, and that's what that looks like. Or if I want to just take up the amber, that's what you're going to get there. But for identification sakes, when I go back on camera with the lightsaber, we're going to bring the green up. And then you're going to go to File and Save. And that's all you need to do in this program to change it. Now, these settings down here, um, if you couldn't tell, SC1, CLSH, that's Clash. These four values here, will you can change them to change the Clash color of your lightsaber. And these would be the blaster blocks, but I'm not going to uh, change those. I'm just going to go for the main blade color right now. So once you save the files, you're going to go back into that Saber 1 folder where you copied everything from your SD card. You're now going to select these files and you probably don't have to select all of them. I could probably just select font 1, but again, I uh I don't know everything about the board or how everything works, so just for the sake of completionism, select all the files, copy them, go back to your memory card, delete all the files that are on your memory card and then paste the files that you just copied back onto your memory card and once the files have been copied back to your SD card then all you have to do is eject the card from your computer and reinstall it back into your lightsaber. So once you've removed the SD card from your computer and you've installed it back into your lightsaber, um, then it'll be ready to go. Uh, now something I neglected to mention and I probably should have mentioned, um, it's a very important thing. When you remove the SD card from your lightsaber, please be sure that the lightsaber is off and especially if you have a kill key option, um, that your kill key is installed. Um, Again, I'm not an expert on these boards, so I don't know what difference it does make. But uh, for again, for the uh, sake of you know safety, just be sure that the kill key is installed, the lightsaber is off, and that's when you remove the SD card. Same thing when you reinsert it. Make sure the lightsaber is off and the kill key is inserted. But once you've reinserted the SD card into your lightsaber um, and you ignite it, then we should notice the change in the sound font and the color. So now you can see we've got the green color and a totally different font this time. And 
that's really all there is to it. So um, I hope that these instructions were easy enough to follow. I apologize if they're a little bit odd. It's uh, 3 a.m. right now, and uh, I've been doing a lot of late night work and planning for an upcoming trip, but I wanted to get this video out uh, since I've gotten so many requests for it before I left because I'm not going to be able to get back onto any personal projects for at least a few weeks. So hopefully you guys find this helpful. Um, if there's any questions or if there's anything else you need, please leave me uh, some notes in the comments and I promise I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks again everybody and hope this helped you out.